Palm Sunday, Year C. From the Gospel according to Luke, I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail, and you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus' prayer for Simon Peter that his faith may not fail and that once he has turned back, he will strengthen his kindred is not a one-and-done kind of thing to be used only at the moment of Peter's denial and never again. Peter will have to sustain his faith and strengthen his kindred again and again and again. There's this experience that we go through in reliving Jesus' passion every Holy Week of leaving behind that Edenic experience where God just takes care of everything and watching with horror as it all breaks down around us, shoving us into a discipleship for which we are never fully prepared. In our Palm Gospel, Jesus starts out relying on a kind of human providence in which everything is there ready when the Lord has need of it. But in order to open the gates of righteousness and enter them, Jesus must set his face like flint against friend and foe alike. And when the praises of the people have given way to striking and spitting, to accusations, to taunts, and to rebuke, when his human strength fails him because of affliction and his bones are consumed, Jesus finds his times in the metaphorical hands of the other two persons of the Trinity. Having emptied himself and taken the form of a slave, Being found in human likeness, Jesus commends his very spirit into the hands of the Father. And even as we gaze steadfastly upon Jesus' suffering and death throughout this holiest of weeks, we know it isn't the end of the story. Jesus will turn back from the depths of hell itself and return to strengthen his kindred. Jesus is not asking Simon Peter to do anything he is not first willing to do himself. The way of discipleship means taking up our own cross and following Jesus on this path because it is only by going through suffering, trusting with unfailing faith in the God to whom we have commended our spirits, that we learn how to lead others through, strengthening them with the type of assurance that comes only with experience. In the name of the one who has experienced all for our sake, even Jesus Christ, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>